Okay. Cool. So, fabulous. Okay. So, it is basically at the minute, um, or new moon is tomorrow. And I wanted to, I was supposed to have a meditation, a live meditation tonight, but because we are all in lockdown um, around the UK at the minute, so no one's doing any like group um, meditations or anything like that. And um, so I decided to take my meditation online tonight and just share it out with everyone. So I know there is quite a lot going on at the minute and um, everyone is in that space of um, being in lockdown. I know my um, family and friends in South Africa message to say it's there now. And here in the UK, we've been um, since Friday as well. And I know in the States as well, a lot of people. So all over the world, all of us are in that space of real um, needing to be in one place, just needing to be in your space, your house, wherever you are. Hi guys, welcome. So just let me know if you can hear me okay, if the sound's all okay. I decided to do our session by candlelight tonight um, because I wanted a little bit of ambiance here. So um, yeah, so just give me a a few hearts and a few thumbs up if you can hear me and if everything is good that side in terms of the volume okay so yeah so i i was gonna have this live meditation in in a one of the cool shops here near us and everything and then that all fell off and then i decided to have it here and i think at the minute we are all in that space where the universe is forcing us to get into the place where we're needing to to step back and go inwards. And I think it's been a, I almost dare to say that it's been um, a long time coming. It's, it's sort of like, <laughs> I think um, Mother Nature's kind of said, boy, listen, you guys need to have a bit of a wake up call. So even though I know it's quite hectic and intense for a lot of people, and you guys would have seen if you're on my mailing list today or on my page that I'm doing a workshop on Friday um, to help you work through fear and just to a few tips and tricks and ways that I deal with fear and just to start doing some proper work around fear and how to actually work with it. So if you haven't yet joined, sign up for the workshop. Um, it's going to be a live workshop, so I will be running it um, in Zoom and then anyone, most of us will be at home, no one's going to be at work anyway. Um, so you're welcome to come and join me. Uh, it's like late morning um, here um, and it's probably lunchtime South Africa, early morning in the States. So yeah, so come and join me for that workshop on Friday. Um, and it's really just to help you connect with the whole concept of fear and what's going on there. Um, so tonight when I needed to tune in to uh, what I'm supposed to be sharing with you guys, um, it was quite interesting because the whole day I've been trying to go in, trying to go in to see what what is it that I'm actually supposed to be talking about because as you know, generally with me, it's like I get given stuff like at the last minute and I was like, dudes, like, listen, <laughs> time's moving on. We need to like start deciding what do you want to talk about tonight? So I was guided to um, my Starseed Oracle deck. So it's a new one by Rebecca Campbell, which is really beautiful. It's just the most incredible cards again. Another, I don't know if you can actually see. Anyway, if you don't have this one yet, get it. It's fabulous. Um, and then I just drew a couple of cards from there. So the card that came up was Starkeeper. And it was about cosmic ancestry and seeding the light by staying grounded. And I think for me, it was so beautiful. It's an absolutely beautiful card as well. I don't know if you can see. And I've been working with a lot of clients and people um, in the last few weeks. Uh, with heart activation, um, higher heart activation. And it was beautiful for me how this portal was here because that was exactly the guidance that I've been getting from the cosmic beings that I've been interacting with about that higher heart um, 
activation space. And um, if you'd been listening to any of my DNA activation talks as well, you would have seen that I mentioned um, that portal and how we go through that portal to connect with the ancient wisdom. Now for me, this time of being able to go in, this time of quiet, this time of not so rushed as we've been for so many years, um, is really an opportunity for us to start reconnecting with those parts of ourselves that we've completely forgotten or um, not re-remembered so far during our journey. So I feel that tonight it will be the start of a journey for us to really go back into those spaces within us, into those deep, deep spaces within us where we can actually start feeling again into that ancient wisdom that we carry within us. And I am going to ask the guides tonight then to take us there to these portals so that we can go and see what is there that we are needing to bring into our lives now and what we are needing to birth into the world right now. Because at the minute, it's very much, it's about fear, it's about survival and I just feel that there's so much more out there. There's this whole, I, f I had this immense sense of gratitude today that just came over me when I realized like how, how lucky I am for what I have and my house and um, my family and my security and every, you know, it's just like everything just felt like I felt very grateful and I know there's so many people who are in that space where fear is really taking over but also try and find some time to step into gratitude and I know it's a bit cliche and everyone's always going oh body spiritual practice is gratitude but I do believe in my heart of hearts that gratitude carries a lot of um, weight and it really really it is super important for all of us to just understand that at this point in time, with all this shit going down, like get back into gratitude as well. Okay, so make sure that you really understand that there's this big energy, there's this, this universe around us um, and that we're needing to start connecting and to start feeling into all of these things that is just so magical and not to just get bogged down in the, oh my God, I have to be home. I can't do this. I can't. No, take that time to really start going in and just feeling and exploring because there's all this beautiful magic. And the second card that I drew was this child of the cosmos. Um, the intelligence of the universe lies within you. So again, like if you feel into that, like there's this abundance that's everywhere, this beautiful light, this magic. And if we let the fear clog up our hearts and that beautiful portal that we carry here within us, we're going to miss out. Okay, so take time to not miss out. Take time to actually make time to connect. It's been so beautiful for me because we don't have school runs now in the morning to worry about. And the whole weekend, every single day, I've had time to just spend a half an hour in the morning journaling and feeling into it and closing my eyes and just being and the sun's been shining and the birds are chirping and it's everything's gone quiet so we get to hear so much more okay so use this quiet time to actually start hearing oh hello lee darling <laughs> so nice to see you online so yes gratitude and just really guys just take this time and for me it's been especially awesome also to have my kid at home and um and for him to yeah just be here with us and we're all together and we just get to spend so much time together so this will probably be yeah one of those few times in in the history of mankind that this will happen but you know use this as a beautiful loving opportunity to connect with those people that you love and everyone um that's around you and just extend kindness and love out towards the world because there's a lot of sad people and there's a lot of angry people and we, we're almost needing to just send love to everyone and just really get into that space and you know me I'm all about love and <laughs> doing those beautiful things so I want to now get into the space of taking us into the meditation tonight and then seeing where we're going to be led to and I'm just going to ask you to allow what needs to come through for you tonight. And I have no idea like where we'll end up 
but let's see where they lead us tonight and just really understand that whatever hardships you are experiencing at the minute or however you are looking at this whole situation in your life that there's a little bit of magic in there for you as well even though you don't see it right now even though it doesn't feel like that even though you feel like your hands are cut off and everything is just so difficult and it's really hard step back into yourself tonight and just allow yourself to be in that space of complete freedom because i think that's what all of us are wanting on a bigger scale every single day is freedom and now that it's been taken away it makes it harder as well so now just reimagine yourself into the freedom and see freedom from a different perspective it might not be that i can run outside and do what i want to do but it also is the freedom of time that we're given the freedom of ex extending our love and being with our families all of that there's freedom there as well so sometimes we just need to take the ideas and shift it around and look at it differently so that we can actually get a different perspective on the things that we perceive to be hard and sometimes it's a beautiful blessing that we don't even see right now so yeah so let's see where we're going tonight i've got some music lined up as well um i'm dusting off some old uh, things and i found this and i'm going to just let that play okay and that will just be in the background so i'm going to ask you now to just close your eyes for me and allow yourself to just breathe in and out And just really be in that space of feeling yourself completely connected to Mother Earth. Visualizing your feet on the ground. Visualizing beautiful Mother Gaia now sending energy right into your body, through your feet, all the way to your heart. And anchoring herself and her energy within your heart right now. And allow yourself to just be in that space of connectedness right now to her. Be in that space of gratitude for her. For she's given us so much for eons and eons. For four and a half billion years she's just been growing, extending and just unconditionally providing for all of us so we just take a minute now to take some of our energy some of the love that we carry within our being and just allow that to run all the way back into the heart of her into the center of her today and just extending your gratitude to her for all that she is all that she provides for how she gives us life each day if she didn't turn, if she wasn't there, she didn't have this beautiful atmosphere. We wouldn't be able to live here. We wouldn't be able to wake up every morning and see the sun go up. And go to sleep every night and look at the stars. And we'd have none of this beauty around us. We just want to thank her today. So send as much love and gratitude to her. And make that the start of your practice each day. Sending gratitude to her. And just for everything she gives to us each day. Karasiya la rama shukuro satanda hiyate. Aliya mokuro tonda hiya veki itashiya la rano sokuro ta hiyava. Eko tindi alaraniya se koiya se. Just so much gratitude within my soul right now for everything that she does. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I want you to focus all your energy and your attention now into your heart space. And all that tension and that stress, that lack of breath, just go into that tonight and just feel that just feel how that is feeling any tension that you're carrying within your being tonight to see how is that for me 
that pain that you're carrying, that hurt, that anguish. Just want you to tap into that and observe it tonight and see it for what it is. Also understand that a lot of what you carry within you does not belong to you. A lot of what you carry within you is also from external. A lot of what you carry within you is not even fear for yourself, but it's fear for your children, for your family, for your livelihood. And just acknowledge that fear. And just observe it. And know that it is there. But also know that you are held during this time by a force much greater than yourself by an eternal loving embrace so much bigger than you can ever imagine. Understanding that you are this beautiful child of the cosmos and that you are supported even though you can't always see it or feel it or understand it. The love that we carry for you as a child of the cosmos is infinite, unconditional and has no boundaries. And just allow that beautiful light now of the cosmos to gently rain into your heart, feeling that energy softly, softly just coming into your heart space tonight and expanding within your being. Kurialarate kuridia tandara no kuruyalaremia teki are sarautaki alara shoro so voko totandialara iniataki laria masukuru si vitia sindalia nankarate horia tenge la yate and they die in the Dao Kayate de Dianda India da Karati Shekiava. And that beautiful light, just extending that out, clearing and cleansing, uncreating any stuck energy, any fear energy that you're carrying within your energetic field right now. I want you to take a very, very deep breath in and hold it for a few seconds and just allow yourself to blow out. See this beautiful water cleansing your entire being tonight, running down allowing all of that stuck energy to just be completely washed away. Serosiaka selia sekia tendata eria tokoro si alara viki atendi alara mashe kodia redianda karatia ola yamate kanda hi avia sokoro seti alara neki yamate And just allowing yourself now to receive this beautiful golden light into your crown from the cosmos. This beautiful source energy, energy of the cosmos. Allow that to come into your crown right now and settle behind your third eye. Kasela sikia tandahi alara neko te. And now, asking your guides, your higher self, to provide you with the vision that you need during this time to be able to see the higher learning within this process for yourself, to be able to see what it is that you can bring into the world, to be able to see what it is that you need to know for you right now the clarity, the clarity, the clarity. Gariya tanda hiyaka 
We're calling in the energy of clarity. Mia soroso kola ia tenda ia la rane shukuri si avere si ki a la rama shukuro sande ia la rane ki a tanda ha india sako la shia teta ia tanda karamatia. Allowing that clarity to be devoid of emotion. Kurisi a ta tanda. They saying to me that that clarity is the clarity of fearlessness. The clarity of heart connection, not the clarity that is clouded by judgment and fear that we carry within us. No, that is the clarity of the higher mind. That's the clarity of the higher self that you carry there within yourself. Allowing yourself to really connect with that now. Like a big, beautiful, bright light that it is. Sura siya sekari yanda iya larani yama kara sela shia teki. Hundiyan la siki alara se shokuru siya te siya vate salati yata tanda ka yata. Allowing yourself to understand the new beginnings that is being created by all of this. Allowing yourself to feel into that, to see it, to really see the deeper meaning of all of this in your own life right now. Understanding how you are not alone. How the beautiful, beautiful cosmic beings are weaving all this energy around you tonight. Kurasiala Kandiata. Beautiful energy of the divine. Allowing that to envelop you and hold you and support you. Mialosi Takia Andahi. Feeling how loved you are right now. Nisia taka liara setande kia tatanda. Allowing your crown to be open now to receive the deeper, deeper wisdom from your higher self. Nisia kara seto. Militi riti anda taratia taka nahia seto. Lesandri alata kandi yamate kuriani siki alaravesi. There's so much within you that you hold, that you still fear about yourself. This beautiful power that you hold within. You have the opportunity now to release that out into the world. Allow everyone else to see that part of you. Allow yourself to connect with that part of you. Karasia tenga. La shiora se ka ndi ala ramane kota tanda. Oli asakari si ata nasi ala ramia teki ala ranasi. We're taking that beautiful energy outwards now. Expanding it into your entire being, running it down your spine through all of your energy centers right now. Throat, heart, solar plexus, the sacral, and the root, all the way down into Mother Earth. Feeling yourself completely and utterly covered in this energy of the divine right now. Feeling the strength within your being to continue. Feeling the strength within your being to grow. Feeling the strength within your being to embrace the new beginnings that you are facing right now. That loss of control that you are feeling right now, it's only an illusion. You've never had control to start with. Never ever. So allowing yourself to fall backwards into the trust of the universe. Everything you thought you knew, I know that. 
everything you thought you wanted, reevaluate. Everything you thought you were, recalibrate. Tasi alara na shokuro senda hia mate ki ala. Evere sia sen korea sen je alara na seki inda hoda di ala. Ere asim de ki ava seli asetande. Awe te ki ana lana ki da seko. Elisia varase shekande hiata. And just feel that beautiful energy within your heart expanding, expanding, expanding. That vibration within your entire being. Becoming more and more and more as you hold all this energy that the divine is sending to you right now. Lo soro sukuro sia sekri india la ranen kia ta nda 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 u kia mate handia soto ra sia leki vati atende kia isia kuro so soto roni ama leki ta ake savata ka na she la mia tokoro so. Esi alara vasen ko hi a te. And now as you stand there, visualize all of these strands of energy connecting you outwards to the entire universe, to every single human being, to every blade of grass, to every single living thing outside of you. Feeling yourself connect now energetically to everything that there is, that there was, that there ever will be. Lakanda hi atenga hi amaratokunda hi aga. Focusing your attention now on the spot between your throat and your heart. That spot where your higher heart sits. Focusing all your attention there right now. Visualizing yourself moving inwards through the portal of your heart. Kototonda yaka. And as you move inwards, you open up a floodgate within yourself of energy, of information, and you start sending that out, letting it run through your energetic system out into the universe. Allowing yourself to be a carrier of the beautiful codes of the universe. Allowing yourself to be connected to all that is. Switching on within yourself right now exactly what you need to live right now. Exactly what you need to feel right now. Exactly what you need to be right now. La sangre a ti tonda hi a me lo coro vi. India la so coro se. And just feel how your heart is expanding, your beautiful higher heart. Sending out so much love and compassion to everyone out there. Nisianga da tia da to dandia. 
Nisianga Tadudia Tadudia Misi Kienda Revritia Taraniki Aria Lara Tekia Nashelia Masekurusa Via Tinkutinda Anjekurusi Dia Lara Nasunga Ia Mate Giata Heve Dendia Lara No Chukurusu Kia Mate Handle kia lara na siha vae te kia nantra tia. Ongu tu tu undi ala ningiava se kri misi ale. Ani a sukuru se ki. Ashe ra siha va. Hase lara na sheko. And start drawing your energy back to you again. Feeling yourself light as a feather. It's this magical divine being that you are. Re-remembering everything that you carry within your being. Re-remembering the essence of you. Lassiya mate kundahiya. Thanking your beautiful divine higher self. Knowing whatever you need to know right now is contained within you. And whenever you need to access this, visualize yourself walking through the portal of your higher heart. But you have to listen, you have to make time to listen. I am waiting for you beyond that portal. I am waiting for you beyond that door. I am waiting for you within you. Rosengalia Neteki. So much love and gratitude for you tonight. Just re-remembering who you are, a beautiful divine soul. So much love for that. Missy Alara no Sheku Tiate Andre Kalianda Yota Eviate O Karesia Natata Yalara Tambiate Kialara Shivri Siku Tianda Hitia Ecovia Sele Shia Matre Kiate Nokorosa Tanda Hi Kalia Matete Esia Mako I'm just pulling all your beautiful energy into your being right now. And just focusing on your heart, reminding yourself every single day about how all you need to do is just go back there, that place where you keep all the love. Kurasia Larane Siki. And now, just focusing your energy back onto your feet, back onto your physical being, and just allowing yourself to tune into your body right now. And as we are still in this beautiful space, I want you to focus on where you feel right now that you need the most healing. Is it in your heart, your chest, your solar plexus? Just go to that space where you require the healing. Focus your energy there. And as we continue to keep on sending energy to you right now, 
I'm sending beautiful healing energy to that point in your physical being where you require comfort, healing, light right now. Kuru satanda treti alarana kianda uto tutratia te tindiata nda karato iate salia se kuria sendahi alia tandre kianda soku iate salia veki talia sendahi akuta anda daria te ki selia masukuru si veti Ayanta ka ua mate lahi a tengu hi ta se india ka Lindria mate kunda hi a ve sakriya te And just receive a beautiful energy for your own highest good Wherever it needs to go right now in your physical being Allow that in Dodunda ki, dodunda ki, dodunda ki a da Ndare tindia maake. And take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And visualizing the left and the right side of your being connecting in harmony and oneness. Kurasi ala te ki ana te na hi a me ka hi a la rato. Asun kurosi a te. Sending so much love and healing to you and to all your families as well. Toso karant india. And now just allow yourself to just take a deep breath in and out. In and out. And so much love and blessing for you for this coming week and the weeks ahead. And know that you are so much stronger than you can even imagine. And you carry so much light within your being. And just keep on shining being. And most of all, keep on listening and being during these times. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And when you are ready, you can start opening your eyes. Okay. Okay, that was fabulous. <laughs> I don't know if you went as far as I went, but I'm, yeah, I think I'm going to have to take a few minutes just to pull myself towards myself again. Oh, so I just quickly pulled us a last card for tonight, guys. It said store family. So how much love have I got for everyone in my heart tonight? And it's all explosive, just like what we did just now. <laughs> And it says, you're part of a team of souls, call and support. So guys, if you need help, if you need love, if you need anything, start asking, okay? The world is a big place with amazing, beautiful souls in there all ready to just step up and help. So let's stick together, let's be a team and just let's allow all of this beauty that we put into our souls tonight to just expand out to the world and just bring the light in and and know everything's going to be fine we will all get through this together okay so may you have a beautifully blessed evening and then if you can join me on friday do join me we're gonna have lots of fun fear busting a bit together and um yeah i'm quite excited for that little adventure so thanks so much it was amazing having you on tonight and um yeah just keep in touch and uh i'm sending masses of love to all of you thank you so much <laughs>